Okay there. Um, this video I am doing a little bit of sound demonstration. Um, on the Banjo Hangout, I don't know if you have ever heard of that or not. If you haven't and you want to know more about banjos and want to learn banjos, I would recommend signing up for it. You have free tabs and lots of information. You can ask people that play banjos a lot better than me all kinds of questions and they will answer them. Um, but on one of the topics that they were talking about was the difference of the sound chamber which is the gap between the rim of your banjo and the bottom of the resonator part here. And one person said to use these little beads that you can get at um, Hobby Lobby. It's a simple little bead here. And put them on your um, screws here so there is a little bit of a gap between here not very visible but the rim sits up a little bit higher and he said that made it sound better so I'm doing this video to see and to compare between this version right now with the beads in it and without the beads so right now this is with the beads in them with the beads in them. Now I'll try to take off these here. This might be a little bit of a problem. I don't know. Move my little screws here. Don't lose them. There we go. There was a little roll in beads. Okay, four there. Get them out of here. Set them off to the side. And then you get a layer of banjo back in to the pot. There we go. See what those beads did is these things go right through the flange here to hold it on and they would sandwich between the bolt in the resonator and these would go right in there so it would add a bit of a gap instead of being straight flat on to the bolt there would be a bit of a gap that it couldn't go down so it about added oh about a quarter of an inch something around there higher of a difference so let's see here best way to put on these little screws too is you go and put them all on just a bit so they're all a little bit in there before tightening up them otherwise you have to do a little bit of adjustment a little bit tight tight there. Okay, so now, with this one, you can kind of see that there isn't any gap between here. It's actually a little bit inset into the um, resonator here, like what you'd normally see on a stock banjo that you would buy. So, let's do a little bit of sound demonstration of this one here. Get my picks back on here. Okay. without the beads in it. So, 
hopefully there's a bit of a difference of sound and we can kind of tell which one sounds better. So, thanks for watching.